right, in today's video, we're gonna make some bad financial decisions in hopes that it works out. This should be good. Hang on. Today's episode of White People Doing Dumb Shit. Hang on. They are on our way to make a bad financial decision, because you know, we're fucking why not? 70, holy shit. It's okay, it's 45 there, you're clear. Just carry on, man. Hammer it down. That guy in front of you don't matter either. <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah. All right, we'll bring you back in the beautiful town of Dallas. I kid, I kid. Welcome to Bethford City, North Carolina. We have two ferry to appear to live here. It's that by a minute. Every but, fucking time. You think you quit change, like, delete them? There it is. And just keep going. Bunch of uh, snowflakes up there. I don't even sure what the hell we're going to do with this. I don't even know yet. Have we got a tree we can drive this thing into? Where's the closest well, tree yet? I'm my trees. I keep all the good trees. <laughs> exactly. Alrighty then. Okay. okay. We're inside this 2003 Escalade, pillaging for a cluster. We're well, not the cluster, that belongs to AA Ron, so we can't get that. Yeah, fuck you, Eric. Punch it real quick. <laughs> for goddamn. Here you go. Sorry, AA Ron, about your cluster, buddy. But anyway, uh, we're going to get this uh, center console out because somebody wants it for their work truck. And I said earlier, I said earlier, was it not totally worth it? And here we are, an hour and a half later, and we got the cover off of it. But we did get the shift doll, the fancy shifter thingy. We got a pile of stuff here. We're going to put in the uh, old 25 Hundo over there. So, uh, yeah, I would 10 out of 10 recommend never pull one of these things. But look at the inside of this thing. Look at guys and girls. When you drop your big gulp, take this thing apart and clean it. That's oh, crap. No. We found three debit cards and a couple wildlife resources cards in here and a bunch of change. It's a good day to be us. Hit on the dark web. We'll sell some cards later. Just kidding. Just kidding. Also, harvest has escalated quickly. Now the seats are being removed. That's the GM wanted to put two bolts there and they did the same thing on that side. Well, we're close to you having it out of here. On a one to scale 10, if this is worth it, this is negative 24. It'd be all right. But once it gets done firing the trash over there and get those last two bolts out, this seat can flop out of the way. Then we get that, bolts out. Then we get this out of the way. Then we put the seat probably back down so the guy can drive it around so he can pull the rest of the parts off of it. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll give him a bucket. Yeah, we'll give him a five gallon bucket. It's okay. Finally out. Oh, no, no. I need to wrap this video up. So here's the Ranger. It's here. It needs a uh, flex plate. Not a flex plate. A flywheel. I forgot. Straight drive trucks have flywheels. Automatic vehicles have flex plates. So it needs a flywheel on it. The ring gear is separated on it. So it won't start right now. It needs a battery charge. Uh, cleaned up real good. But uh, it's a 2-3 five-speed truck. Everything's supposed to work. Even AZ's supposed to work in it. The guy we bought it from we're good friends with. So confident in it. We didn't go buy it from a complete stranger. Uh, has a title and everything so what we're going to do is fix it and chase is going to daily it for a little while we'll take all the stickers off of it too we're going to fix it clean the heck out of it lower it a little bit and uh take the stickers off of it and daily it because it's two three five speed two wheel drive it should get excellent gas mileage as opposed to that big giant gas hog he has up there at 2500 because you know gas prices the way they are it makes it rough so this would be a lot better and it would save him a lot of money and uh, obviously it doesn't seem that gas prices are going to drop anytime soon. So there that is right there. It's too dense and it's right there. It's not that bad. All the tires are actually good. He bought some spare wheels for it too. So he got some chromies there. It's actually not a bad truck. Uh, once we clean all the trash out, it would be relatively clean inside. It's locked right now. But anyway, you can see right there. I don't want to dig into it, but there it is. It's not a bad little truck. And it'll either get sold when he gets done with it or... Hopefully they'll drive the hell out of it and save some money. That's what he needs to do. Hell yeah, buddy. Like I said, like I said, we'll clean the interior up. It'd be a nice little Why truck. Why are you filming? I like filming you. Everybody likes your big giant head. I don't fucking care what they like. Fuck yeah. them. That's not very cash money of you. Well, half of them goddamn don't even like me. Cause you son cuss too much. Watch well, another fucking channel. <laughs> well, see, they're not wrong. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> see, that's your problem in life. You gotta care. I don't. Oh, like. Wait a minute. She won't because the starter's hanging under it. Don't, don't, don't spoil it. Right. Anyway, there it is. It smells better than it did yesterday. Like Aaron? <laughs> oh, man, that's your boy. You don't do well, that. No, I'm just saying. It smells like... It smells like Aaron. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. All right, there it is. Yeah, as y'all know, gas is $4.20 a gallon here in the Charlotte area. Uh, that 2500 he's got is just murdering him in gas mileage. So the goal is to get that Ranger running and driving and hopefully save a little money in gas because it probably ain't going to go down for a little while. Yikes. Hope you enjoyed a little video. Uh, like I said, gas prices are insane. Nothing I personally can do about that right now. So we're going to do the best we can do. 
Like I drive like a little Colorado every day, so it's got good mileage. We got him that little truck, get it fixed before long. He can drive for a little bit. Then once gas prices go back to normal, if they do, he can modify it, sell it, do whatever the heck he wants to do with it, or he can sell it beforehand and just enjoy that gigant price bill, a hundred dollars every three days and up to twenty five hundred. We'll find out what he wants to do. But anyway, there we are. Uh, stuff coming on this one this week later, hopefully. I got parts here. You've seen parts of that and stuff and things. So we'll get on to that, but we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.